Hi, welcome to module five, our final module in the series. Uh, this one specifically focuses on absolute values and power functions. But that being said, we're also going to look in the level three questions at combinations of problems, taking all those concepts you learned in the previous modules and applying them in as well. So we're combining them all together. So you might want to reference earlier modules. If you start struggling, if you're taking, say, I don't know, absolute value of a sine function, well, you might want to go back and look at how to solve those sign problems. So we're going to look at future videos of this, but it's just a good idea that, to look at those, some of those previous modules if you're getting stuck, especially on the level three combination problems. Great. But let's start off looking and talking about absolute values. What do these mean? Well, we get these weird bars. We have some term with bars on either side of it. What does that even mean? It just means we're taking the same usual function, maybe our x function here, and we're going to take the absolute value. We evaluate what's ever in the absolute value and make it positive. That's what they mean. Later on, we'll look at how to solve absolute value problems, and it'll get a little trickier, but if you're just taking the absolute value of something, 